let's get started. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are on a conference at New Orleans. So I invited one of my good friends to my channel, Dr. Kim. Dr. Kim and I were office mate when we were doctoral students. So uh, Dr. Kim is one year behind me. So we spent two years together sharing an office. office. Yes, actually we go to Starbucks together, mm, right? right? So if there is Starbucks, like uh, buy one, give one free, we go there together. Mm -hmm. You get a free one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so today, actually, we went to Starbucks again. And <laughs> there is one good thing about going to Starbucks at this season. So is we get this free red, red, red cup. cup, red cup. So they offer this every year for free, for free. If so. you order holiday coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so Starbucks really need to give us advertising face, yes, pay, right? Yes. So, so Starbucks, please send the money to me J just to my bank account would be good. Mm. Okay. So I'll share half with you. <laughs> Dr. Kim uh, just finished doctoral studies this year, right? Mm -hmm. And got a job at a major, major giant public university in the United States. So Texas A&M. <laughs> okay. So I'm jealous, you know, I, I a big school too. Don't reveal that. They don't know my oh. university. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Kim, you know, you came to the United States when you were a master's student, mm -hmm. right? So how, what is the biggest, you know, obstacle or challenge as an international student who pursued a master's degree and a PhD degree? I think it's just all of like, <laughs> it's, so weird. it's like all of like survivor medal. So mm -hmm. I I came I first came to the United States as an exchange student, like doing the internship and stuff. Oh. Mm -hmm. It was like my second year of my undergrad. So oh. it's just like I know a professor here, like my my father's friend. Uh -huh. So he just like asked, like he just suggests me, what, like what if I just go to America and experience mm -hmm. new culture? You know, mm -hmm. Korea is a really tiny country. So like my parents always told me like oh why don't you just like experience bigger like country mm -hmm. so like okay like maybe and I always like to like you know learn new culture mm -hmm. so I experienced that but at that moment it's like exchange student right yeah it's like you came here for fun like of course yeah. like it's still studying but more of like yeah I'm in a new country like yeah, I'm happy like yeah you don't have the GPA you know the kind of yes, pressure yes. so and also it's a very mind of relaxing mm -hmm. so it's everything is new and you were yeah. very energetic yes. at that time it's, and it seems like yeah. like uh like especially i, I started uh in south area so oh. in southern area there you cannot see many especially louisiana you cannot see many asians there oh. so like seems like people didn't like me like you know i'm a kind of exotic feature uh -huh. so at that one was good but like like I liked that when I came here as mm -hmm. an exchange student mm -hmm. um, and then after that I decided to study more mm -hmm. and then after I came here it's more of like you have to survive this in this like environment right yeah like you don't have much funding and like you don't have family and like <sighs> um, my I know my family support me a lot mm -hmm. in many ways like mm -hmm. financially emotionally so I just want to you know pay them back what I receive so that like that pressure made me like just kind of like depressed you know yeah 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 yes yeah. and like as I said like there are not many Korean people or like Asian people over there so I, I can't not really like make connection with like people around there so I think that was a major challenge okay well under like yeah master in Louisiana was like that but like mm -hmm. um you know COVID hit mm -hmm. uh, when I did uh uh, the PhD program, mm -hmm. you know, and then uh, at that moment when the when the COVID start become like becoming so serious, mm -hmm. like it was, uh, I I supposed to go to job market. Yeah, I think like, that was your third year, right? Yeah, yeah. so I supposed to go out, mm -hmm. but like since COVID, like because of COVID, everything was so like closed and like so it's frozen. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, job frozen. So that was a very weird time yeah and the i couldn't market. even get yeah. the uh scholarship uh yeah so my parents needed to pay yeah, like that's 
that tuition. Sucks. Yeah. yeah. Luckily, I got uh, some part time job, mm -hmm. and eventually that helped me to get a job too. Cause oh. like I work with those football players and tutoring. Yes. You know, I I, I just. I think every experience mm. eventually will be a great experience. Mm -hmm. So mm. I talked with Dr. Kim this time. He tutored one of the star football player back in our program. Yeah. So wow, I, I'm jealous. Yeah. You know? yeah. I, mean, I think every time I see him on the on the screen, mm. I see he's such a shining star. Yes. And you has been you know, you helped him mm. like during his mm. coursework. Mm -hmm. I think that's Fantastic experience you <laughs> yes, look back. And, and actually that broke my oldest stereotype toward the football players. You uh -huh. know, when it comes to think about the football players, mm -hmm. they're like arrogant and they like partying mm. and like they're kind of like, you know, like brag it off. Yes, yeah, so they're entitled because they're so talented, yeah. right? But actually they're really humble. Like they want to sustain this scholarship uh -huh. and actually, you know, most of like uh, football players in university Mm -hmm. They go to NFL, which mm -hmm. means like they got all the attention. So they have to be careful like what they're saying and their yeah, personal life. Yeah, yeah. So they try to just like, and I always emphasize them that you don't know what will be. So I always mm -hmm. ask them to get a degree, you know, mm -hmm. and for them it's free. Yeah. So like it's free, like scholarship here, like the tuition here, really expensive. Like if the school can support them, then mm -hmm. why not, you know? Yeah. And I think they get full support from the university. Yes, oh, well, they yeah. made more money than me. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. getting, they're, I don't think they get, they don't get paid by playing football. They get scholarship, yes, right? Yes, the NIL. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. yeah so, but com money. compared to what they make for the university, mm -hmm. they take very, very small. I hope yeah. that like, China or Korea, they do kind of. I hope that they do this program too, because mm -hmm. like it actually. So for football players, there are a lot of students who can't not go to college without those scholarship, especially African American students. Mm -hmm. You know, like because uh, like they their family cannot afford mm -hmm. simply. Mm -hmm. So going like going to those big program would be the big chance for them. Mm. So, but, but I think the bar is very high. You need to be talented, you know, in one uh, sport. Yeah, somehow, but like, still, I, I want to say, you, if you go to those football play, uh -huh. like like football games and mm -hmm. basketball games, you know how like, energetic is yeah. that I think it's a good way for them to like explode their energy you know mm. like I don't know about China but like Korean University like we party a lot. I'm not saying American people don't party a lot uh -huh. but like uh, we do like those like physical activities mm -hmm. like uh, between those majors mm -hmm. but not like that like it's it like promote us to have some kind of like how can I say like it's friendship or like you know the loyalty to school uh -huh. and stuff. yeah so. yeah actually i found that this loyalty to school is it's crazy it's crazy and loyalty to uh your hometown mm -hmm. the place the local you know the local marks mm -hmm. is crazy i think this is one of the biggest culture differences between China and the United States, mm. probably you yeah. experienced that too. Well, like major university, like Yonsei University, Seoul uh -huh. University, those big universities, they have like, loyalty to university. Uh, yes, yes. But like regular university, they don't really have those yes. things. Yes. But here, yeah, if even you were a small university, you were like a teaching university, people are very, very proud of mm. their school. Yeah, they their always program. wear the t shirt, yeah, hoodie, yeah. or like they buy all the stuff. Yeah. You know, there is my marker here. I, actually, I think that's a very good, it's good. attitude. I think it's, yeah, it's yes, good attitude. Yes. So, so you don't have to be very elite or very, very high, you know, mm -hmm. on that chain mm -hmm. to be proud of your school or exactly. your community. So you are just very proud of who you are and where you are from. Mm. I think that's that's very cool. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well anyway, I don't know how this <laughs> go. But yeah. Uh, yeah, we're off topic. We're off yes. topic. Yes. But COVID hit like that was like really a lot of pressure because I think most like international student experience that like you got a lot of support from your family and mm -hmm. you try to like pay them back. Yeah. And you just want to be like, oh like you know, successful in a different country. Yeah. So I think that was the most like hardship that I go through. How was the experience of being on job market, especially during this COVID situation? How did you manage the pressure and just eventually survive? Oh. You know, made a great success. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
I was really desperate because like you know that if you cannot get the job, then you may need to go back to your country mm -hmm. um, and the visa here is pretty like tricky I, I, I want to see one thing I hate this H1B yeah I hate it the, yeah. the, the visa I hate the most although I I, I, I has been only on two types of visa <laughs> F1 visa and H1B visa mm -hmm. but I hate H1B so much so many irritations yeah right yeah. and you have to be careful and like <sighs> yes well, either you get a good sponsor or marry American. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but anyway, those like visa status like stress me out a lot. Yeah. And I already like established like some kind of life in here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been like eight years since I came to the United States. So I know that if I go back to Korea, I will just culture there again. Mm -hmm. But like most of my like eight years pretty long like yes. I, I you build your connections yes here. i don't know how to like do bank thing works like i don't know how to buy a house over there mm -hmm. like you know the culture is kind of different even though i spent like more than 20 years back in back in korea mm -hmm. but still like like after adults i adjust life here so i don't yes. know how things work like yes. driving or mm -hmm. like uh like tax and stuff mm -hmm. um so i'm kind of afraid that i cannot uh adjust Korean culture back there. It's like a like it's a reverse, reverse the culture shock. Exactly. Yes, yes. So um that pressure like killed me like killed me, but I just like I was so desperate and I tried to apply every single position that I can do. Mm -hmm. Like if I see like little thing that I can like little fit. like yeah fit, I'll yes. just like do it. Um and then eventually work. But like at the same time, I just like put so much pressure on myself mm. but back then I, I have to go through a lot of things like family issue my mm. personal issue so it was not just like a job thing yeah. but like you know when when thing happen all the thing happen all the time yeah 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 all like, the crisis happen at the same time <sighs> yeah um but like I would say like if I just like my, my friends and my family were the biggest supporter of me mm -hmm. uh, so they always told me like if things happen, happen, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. no matter how good you are, how, like, try, like, how hard you try, like, sometimes you just fail. So I'm like, I try to do myself. I try to put all the application that I can, I could mm -hmm. apply. Mm -hmm. um, and then, like, a, every single possibility that I can do. I, and at the I same, understand. Yeah, but at yeah. the same time, like, I just apply small job too. Like, yeah. we can do OPT, right? Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. I'm just thinking, like, okay, like, at least I cannot make a lot of money, but still, like, I can stay mm -hmm. here and, like, mm -hmm. just do more publication and get more get teaching better. experience. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So, so yeah. Yeah, I, I still remember the days on job market. I, I was, like, constantly so stressful. asking myself, what should I do yeah. if I cannot get a job this year? Like, yeah. all the worst scenario that we can experience. Yeah, yeah. So, it, it was quite stressful. So, May I ask how many applicants you submitted during? At least 200. 200? Mm -hmm. Like every single position that I applied, like assistant professor job, like lecturer job, or like part-time job, or whatever, like at least 200, I think. Wow. Yes. Wow. I, I, I think I applied like more close to like 100. I already burned out. I feel I, I was burned out. but mm. So I still feel you. I still <laughs> feel you. One week, I think I like, it was like one week I got three interview. Uh huh. So like I, I didn't even remember which school that I applied for. So <laughs> yeah, so I have to like, okay, which school was it? And like I try to get a hint and I try to answer that. So yeah. Because, like, at first you apply for the job that you really want to go. Mm -hmm. But after that, I'm like, okay. You just apply, yeah. apply <laughs> any, every, every, every single thing. position. Yeah. You know, so. I, I understand. You know, sometimes I think job market is weird. Weird. So you submitted your applications. Sometimes over months, you don't, you don't hear anything yeah, from no. them. But suddenly, like one week, you can hear from, like, three universities mm -hmm. I think it's such a weird yes place. I mean yeah. I, I remember like I I have to do two interview in a row oh. in one day yeah so, like, wow. so I <laughs> remember so I I I submitted applications for like uh, obviously like six or seven months I didn't hear any yeah. but suddenly I get like uh, two or three like interview mm. invitations see like, i think it's like a week. destiny like yeah. <laughs> like no matter what how good you are mm -hmm. like how like 
how hard you try like mm-hmm. some it, well, if, if it's happened it happens yeah so like I would, like I would say like I try hard like and do my best but like don't disappoint like don't yeah. like don't feel disappointed by like the result or like it's all about luck sometimes like yeah. there's like, like it's, it's like a it's like a timing you know like mm-hmm. uh the year that i graduate like true, the yes yeah, someone retire or someone die or something <laughs> happen, will really happen in the covid covid area yeah right and someone retire someone go to different um yeah, school and school, that position is yes. empty and mm-hmm. luckily i graduate and mm-hmm. they're looking for someone who just graduated mm-hmm. so it's like all about timing you know yeah yeah so just uh, so hang in there just like, hang in there yes, hang yes, in there yes, then you will get yes, something you, like, you will get eventually get yeah something. it's like there's a there's a korean um idiom this day uh-huh. like 인생은 존버 what is that? It's like life is just bearing. Mm-hmm. So if you bear things, ah. and then you will get it eventually. Oh. So like you don't have to try much thing, but just like keep it and like hold it, and you eventually get something. Yeah, it's we actually have similar like mm. expression in China. Mm. I think there like there is no victory, but you just need to yeah. stick there. So mm. just hang hang in hang there. Hang in there, then so you will just get something. Don't give up. You'll mm-hmm. get it. Yes, it's like yes. a half, like more than half, I think. Like there are so many people who just give up, you know? Yeah, yeah. Actually, you know, based on my personal ex- experience, I don't know whether this is like a survivor bias. Mm. I feel everyone who's on job market Although there are so many, so many difficulties, eventually, they get it. Yeah, eventually, they get it. Mm.